This is part three of my video walkthrough of Metroid Prime. We've just gotten to the Chozo Ruins. You can see a lot of missile expansions around here, but we can't get most of them. And we step in here and five beetles appear from the ground. Not too hard to handle. There's a door there with a blast shield on it, but we can't do anything about it. And you head up here. Go through this door on the left. Encounter a new enemy here. These blue exploding ones. Now these will hurt you if they do explode. Unlike the green ones from the ship before. And we got these laser shooting eons. Such that we shoot them, we'll close their eye and get right by them. Makes nice, nearly touched one there. A lore over there. Another thing here is a wasp nest. Take care of these beetles. But what's a wasp nest? Without war wasps. So we take them out. They'll keep coming as long as the nest is there. And here's the safe station. Save real quick and then we go through the door. Some more blue exploding bugs. If we take care of them. There we go. Nest right above. Just skip it and go through the door. Another new enemy here is the Plasmite. They will hurt you if, they, if you touch them. But luckily for us, almost always there's a 20 unit energy refill here. Another one. We make it to our next mini boss area, I should say. There's our first item. The missile launcher. Uh, what's going on? Oh. The poisonous water is rising. We have to fight the mini boss now, the drone. Or five like a megapod, whatever. <laughs> and he launches ram or wasps. I need to be careful of these things because they will random you off the platform and into the swamp, poisonous water. Keep an eye on your radar to see where they stop. This will be easier than just simply following them. Once all of them are gone, shoot the red area. More will come out. Second time? One more time will really knock, will knock them out. I had some problems here. Couldn't get a good hit on any of them. Mm, got a hit on me. I can't really say if it's easier on the Wii version than here, because you do have manual aiming on there. Or free aiming, I should say.
But during the along the way, I'll explain differences between this version and the Wii version as well. Because there are some ver differences. I'll mention them along the way. And that was it for the Wasp. Take him out one more time, and he is defeated. And we get the missile launcher. this splash shield here and we get our first energy tank so now we have one square of life added to our life meter and make a platform for us to get back to the door Now that we have missiles, we can destroy wasps' nests. Now they won't bother us anymore. And down here in the uh, wasp nest room, down below is the map room. Get the map for the area. back through the door and through that little section underneath the door destroy these mushrooms is our first missile expansion I have a hard time getting in there without uh, falling into the poisonous water eh, doesn't do too much damage over me right now let's head back through the door up here If there's one thing we know about Prime games, it's that they uh, hide the loading times just by making it seem like the doors take so long to open. I didn't have that problem for a while. For a while. Destroy the uh, wasps' nests. There we go. Since we don't have the charge beam, we can't bring those power-ups in. We have to manually get them. Well, we got the missile recharge, but that's fine. Destroy these uh, laser shooting eyes. Eons, as they're called, I remember. That's through the door. Destroy these little blue exploding bugs again. See what I mean? They explode near you, you lose health. Try to avoid them as best you can. If you can see up there in the top left corner, there's a missile expansion. Uh, no, an energy tank, I mean. If you remember before, there was a blast shield on that door over there. Now we have missiles, we can go in. I'm running out of time here. More bugs. Easier to handle since they come out of one spot. More bugs. Afraid I have ran out of time, so I'll see you in the next part.